Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another launch broadcast of Power Aerospace Industries. As you can see on your screen, the Miles X Mark II launch vehicle is ready to launch into space in less than a minute from now. Today we'll be launching our very first satellite into space. As you can see, there it is on your screen. It is a one meter diameter payload with four antennas protruding from the body of the satellite to study Earth's atmosphere and the magnetosphere. Now we do not expect to have live coverage of the satellite's deployment since it is happening on the other side of the planet, but we will try to give as many views as possible of the launch and all the events that follow after that. Now you might have heard the call out there for T-30 seconds to go until this rocket lifts off from the launch pad. And there on your screen you are seeing the fuel valves from the first and the second stage retracting into the tower so they do not interfere with the launch. Now let's listen in to the final 10 seconds before liftoff. Beautiful liftoff as you can see there on your screen, but before we can get into space, the vehicle has to pass through a few key milestones. First is maximum dynamic pressure or max Q. Now max Q or maximum dynamic pressure is when all aerodynamic stress loads on the vehicle are the strongest. If we do not throttle the engines down at this moment of flight, the vehicle along with its payload will be destroyed due to max the stresses Q. on the launch vehicle. And as you can see there, we're currently going through max Q. That is the reason we throttle down that single Vulpix engine. And there we go, we throttle the Vulpix back up to accelerate towards orbit. Reach 5 kilometers. Vehicle is following a nominal trajectory. Now everything appears to be going nominal as reported by Mission Control. And, and, what? Now, I was just informed about an issue on the vehicle. It appears the Vulpix engine is not providing the thrust needed to put the payload into orbit. But do not panic, everything... Hello once again, thank you for your patience, and it appears the vehicle has experienced a small anomaly. Mission Control is still trying to sort out the situation and understand what happened. In the meantime, we'll be ending today's broadcast. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you in the next launch.